a mirror. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Um, it's been a really, really hard year for me. Um, also, I apologize for the background noise. Um, my little sister and dad are making dinner downstairs, and I don't have a bedroom door. <laughs> um, but I'm not 100% what I'm doing here. Um, this year has been really, really hard for me, and I feel like I just want to share it. So, I'm going to start from the very beginning. So, in January, uh, my birthday is in January, uh, January 16th, 2004. And, um, well, this year, it was really, really fun because so there's this thing called the rubber chicken uh it's between uh ferris high school and lewis and clark high school uh they're both spokane high schools and um so i went to that it was super fun i had a really really good birthday uh it was on my birthday um and yeah and then February, um, was kind of hard, um, I am, I'm depressed, I have anxiety, I have depression, I have a lot of things, um, February, I relapsed, um, with five months of being clean, um, I lost a very, very important person in my life back in February, um, he was an older brother to me, like an older brother to me, and yeah, um, March was an okay month, um, I met a few people, and me and them have become really, really close, um, April, uh, I ended up in residential treatment for a couple months, um, May, I was still in residential treatment, but I got to see my family a few times. Um, June was really fun. Um, I got to meet some more friends and hang out with a lot of people. Even though that it was, like, during the coronavirus and stuff, it was still really, really fun. Uh, July, um... I forgot what month I was on. I think it's July, at least. Um, July 4th, uh, we went out to the lake. We set off fireworks. We got a boat. It was super fun doing that. Um, August was really, really, really hard. Um, I almost took my life back in August. Um... I, let's see, what else, um, I lost one of my best friends to suicide, um, September, it was alright, um, it was long, but it was fun, um, October, this last month, um, I got to see one of my best friends, um, she's been in foster care pretty much her whole life, and she finally found foster parents, and we absolutely adore them and love them, and I absolutely love her. Um, October 16th of 2006, um, I lost my N, so my name's an acronym, uh, Nate, Eric, Reese, and Austin, my parents' four best friends. Um, so, October 16th was a really, really hard day for me. Um, I didn't do much. I didn't go out. I didn't hang out with friends. I didn't really pick up my phone. Um, yeah. So, it's 14 years without him. Uh, this October. Well, yeah, this last month. Um, and then this month has been okay so far um i am 
happy in a relationship, finally. Um, I am recovering from my depression and anxiety. Um, yeah. Um, I don't really know what else to say, or say. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a long year, and we still got another month to go. So, let's just hope that 2021 is better. Um, I finally have the courage to actually smile again, um, after not being able to smile and actually meaning it for a while. Um, yeah, I'm actually happy for once in life, finally. Well, at least kind of happy. Um, yeah, but I found someone that makes me happy. Um, he has come and gone throughout my life. Um, yeah, he's come and gone. Um, I have gone back to him and he's come back to me several different times because, well, I'm in love with him and I don't want to lose him. Um, yeah, I'm not going to, like, say any names or anything because... I don't want to, like, put him out there or whatever, but, yeah, I'm really, really happy with him. Um, he pointed out today that we've been friends in, friends for five years now, um, yeah, uh, so I was 11 when I met him, um, and, I'm really, really happy that me and him are talking again. Um, yeah, um, I'm probably going to delete this eventually, but you know what? It's whatever, honestly. Um, it's really bad because I'm shaking and I keep fidgeting with my hands because that's what I do. Um, I keep clearing my throat and like making noises with my throat is because I have anxiety tics. Um, so I make noises with my throat. I have verbal tics sometimes. Um, they don't normally come out unless it's like, unless I have a really, really bad like anxiety attack. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little eight minute video uh yeah but i'll probably be posting a little bit more since i now have a phone uh yeah but make sure to like and subscribe i guess bye guys